Hi, welcome to video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to learn about this USB CH340 with a relay module to control an AC load from a command line. On PowerShell, I just type light on. As you can see, the light is on. And if I, if I want to turn it off, light off. As simple as that. So I'm going to show you how to use the command and send command through the USB from your computer to turn the light on and off. So let's get started. This is the USB module with the relay. It's uh, the USB is based on CH340 chipset. Easy to use as soon as you connect it, the system will recognize it. If not, I will provide you the drivers. So we have a relay and so we have three port connection here for the relay and it has been mentioned here. So this is the common and this is the normally open. So this port and this is normally closed. So we will connect the two wires that you have at these two ports, which I'm going to show you. And other than that, you don't need to know anything except that we have to be careful when you connect this to AC power, you do not touch uh, the relay or uh, this area and also do not put it on, the, on a surface that is conductive so it should be either on paper or plastic or some other material so for convenience I'm using just this uh, USB adapter instead of connecting it so in film it will be easy for you but you just you can just connect it to your USB port of the computer so let me explain the AC bulb here so this is a table light that is connected to the wall outlet and then the wire goes and will be turned on. But I have disconnected one of these two wires here. So let me show you. So I've just cut this wire from here. Now this can be connected to the uh, relay. The relay job is to just connect it. So it will be on and disconnected will be off. I've just twisted them and then put some solder so this can be inserted into a uh, connector with a screw. Now I have connected the AC wires between the common and normally open NO. Normally uh, common and normally open. So this relay can be controlled in two ways. One way would be through the Windows PowerShell, which you don't need anything to install, just Windows 7, 8 or 10 will have it and you can run that. And the other way would be, if you don't like uh, typing a letter commands, then there is a client, there is for serial communication software that you can use and send a command. So I'm going to show you both. So the first thing to start with this on your computer, you just open the device manager. I'm using Windows 10, so you can go right click on the start menu and go device manager. And if you're using Windows 7 or rather Windows, you click on the start menu and type DEVMGMT, DEVMGMT, and you see device manager. In any way, so once you open it, go under the ports and click here, and you should see the device that you have. Now I'm disconnecting my use, uh, USB relay. As you can see, port 8 disappeared under this. Okay, so now when I connect it again, port com com port 8 uh, is here so double click on this and go to the port setting and make sure that you understand this one Just rem remember these especially the 9600 and then click ok so we know we are on com 8 the link for this software will be provided in the description so you can get it directly from here or maybe this page disappears, I'm going to put it on robojax.com so you can download it. So it will be under the robojax.com slash download. So this is a zip file. Once you click, you will be prompted to save it as a zip file. So this will be a zip file. Just save it somewhere in your computer and zip it. So I've put it in my download serial USB and here is a file. So once you unzip it, this is a software, just click and open. So this is the screen how it looks like. So you first select the COM port that you are using for that 
in my case this USB so it's com port 8 and then and then this is now open and this is now closed so you have to make sure it's opened and the light is on so these are the command now the USB is connected I'm I've selected pin port 8 and the baud rate is 8 uh, the baud rate is 9600 so I'm entering this command to turn it on A0010182 so I've copied and pasted hex is checked and now I'm clicking on send and pay attention here so now it's on to turn it off copy that paste it here and now I'm sending so now this is off so this was how you control the relay on and off to turn the light on and off with the, uh, this uh, SSCOM tool to open the PowerShell just go to the start menu and type power and you'll see PowerShell here or you can open the command and then go to PowerShell but before you open it make sure to right click and run as administrator so and also make sure that this is closed the user directory cd back just type cd c colon backslash users and then I'm in the users dir and you will see all the users here my, my username is user so you will have a lot of other names so whatever your username you will be seeing it here so I'm going to this folder so now I'm on my user so if I type dir it shows all the files that exist at this point I'm creating a variable just type robojax equal new dash object this is case sensitive object and then a space system dot io dot ports dot serial port and then space com 8 comma 9600 baud that's 9600 none 8 1 and then I'm pressing enter so I've created this object Robojax refers to all this so you don't have to enter it all the time and now it, let's open the port Robojax.open and when I press enter the port is opened now if I want to send a command or something to that we can say Robojax.write and then we can put our text hello so now it's written which we don't know where it went but it just sent to that relay so if you close the port now we want to send our code here within a long way so now I'm typing the command for power on and put it as a in a variable called power on as a type of byte array so a001 and here we have a0 0 1 0 1 and a2 so these are the value to turn the power on and we have 0x at the beginning it refers to the hex value so I'm pressing enter now after that I'm gonna do the power off and the only value differs is this that this is 0 and that is a1 so now to turn the light on I have to first open the uh, port after that we write we say rubojax that right and then power on I pressed the tab comma zero comma on dot count this needs to know the length of the 
this the length of this value is needed so we are putting dot count so you can get the length of that and then let me show you here so I'm pressing enter now so you see the relay is on now so to turn it off to turn it off I do the same thing power of comma zero dollar power of dot count I've completed the code here and pay attention I'm pressing now enter so the light is off to do it again light on I'm just pressing upper arrow to bring the code the light is on just go again bring off with the upper arrow and then when you're done just type robojacks uh, dot close this is tedious and not easy to use so I'm gonna show you a way to put all this in a file and run the code so this is the script that I have the two scripts light on light off dot ps1 and light on dot ps1 i'm going to provide the code for you so here are the files light on dot ps1 that is to turning the light on all of these commands must be typed and then for the off we have to type all of this in order to make it easy i'm putting them in the file and then putting the file inside the username that you have so in my case c slash backslash user backslash user so inside the users my username is user in your case whatever username you have inside that folder and then just put these two files how to put it copy this open your notepad paste it and then when it says file save us type it so this was the light off and then ps1 and then save it that's it so make sure the extension is dot ps1 so once that's done now we are going to run it backslash so if i type dir you will see that the lights light off.ps1 and light on.ps1 are here because when i type dir so that gives you a directory list so cls clear screen now let's type the let's run the script So I'm typing light on the dot ps1 or you can just type li and the rest just press tab it will be completed now it's light off I want to run light on press tab again and then when it's completed just press enter now you will see this one that uh, that the file light on ps1 cannot be loaded because running script is disabled so W there is an execution policy it says about execution policy it says go to this link to learn about it so let's get the execution policy so you type get dash ex and now we type execution policy I'm pressing tab to complete it for me and just press enter it says restricted so you must change this to remote signed so what we do is we say set dash ex again completed by pressing the tab set execution policy policy remote signed now it asks you for the warning because you're giving a lot of permission for this just press yes cls clear screen now the system is ready to run the script so i'm running now the script just press on i, I press the tab and now pay attention here so the light is on now to run the light off so I'm running it and pressing enter the light is off so I have disconnected the AC because it was for me so you just connected the two ports here and I saw that the light can be on and turned off thank you for watching this was an introduction to using a USB relay module for Windows uh, through PowerShell 
Um, soon I will have another video that you can use it with this FTDI serial to UART or maybe this other USB to UART so we can control it through Arduino to turn on and off a relay. So please thumb up the video, please share it and also subscribe to get updates of my upcoming videos. If you have comments or questions, please type it in the comment below and I'll try to answer it.